Welcome everyone to the Pulse of St. Louis. I'm Jasmine Huda. Well, we are less than 10 days until the election. Of course, we will elect our next president. But here in Missouri, some big races and issues that are getting national attention. Joining us in studio, again, we have Professor Stephen Rogers with St. Louis University and the director of the YouGov poll. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Jasmine. Well, the end is near. But uh, first off, we do have this big Missouri U.S. Senate race. We've mm -hmm. got Democrat Lucas Coons hoping to unseat incumbent Senator Josh Hawley. We do want to remind our viewers that Josh Hawley and Lucas Coons have their first and only televised debate. It's going to be right here on Fox 2 this coming Thursday night, October 31st at 7 o'clock. Now, uh, Professor Rogers, these two have been really going after each other. Mm -hmm. um, Tell us, first of all, what does your polling show? And this is your YouGov poll. You're mm -hmm. the director of it. And mm -hmm. when was this taken? Yeah, so the St. Louis University YouGov poll, uh, we took a poll back in August. And then at that point, uh, the poll, the race was about at 11 points. And then here, this is actually the closest that we, like, we, that at least I have seen in terms of a public independent poll for this race. Uh, other polls that we did not conduct, I've uh, shown the race has actually kind of grown, or Holly's lead has even grown, uh, maybe to 12 or even 15 points. Um, and so then here, if we're just kind of looking at this race right now, Lucas Coons is kind of having an uphill battle. And so then in the debate next week that we're kind of seeing is that we're going to see that maybe Lucas Coons is going to have to do a lot to convince a lot of voters to kind of come to his side. What are you hoping is going to happen in that debate? Is there something you really want to see or hear from either of these candidates? Uh, so here what is going to be interesting to kind of see is whether or not they can kind of like well, one thing that we're probably definitely going to see is Josh Hawley is going to probably challenge Lucas Coons like he did in the last debate a little bit about whether or not he's going to support uh, Harris within the presidential election. Um, but the key issues that we kind of kind of come up with in this uh, Senate race have been kind of surrounding the issues of immigration, abortion, and, say, LGBTQ issues. And so then both candidates have kind of challenged each other on kind of their positions on immigration, whether or not, say, Hawley is attacking Coons on whether or not Coons is allowing undocumented immigrants to they get Social Security benefits or Medicare, and so these are just claims kind of made by Hawley. Meanwhile, Coons is challenging Hawley on the issue of like whether or not, well, you're not supporting the bipartisan bill that was kind of like within the Senate, um, kind of going with Donald Trump, we kind of said don't support this bill. And so then here, that's going to probably be a key issue. Um, another issue that Hawley's really attacking Coons on is, say, transgender issues. And so then here, there's been millions and millions of dollars kind of spent in this race, and I wouldn't be surprised if many Missourians at if not nearly every Missourian has seen ads kind of attacking Kuntz on transgender issues. And then this is one issue that we have found in the state of Slough YouGov poll that is actually pretty unpopular with voters. And so, for example, only 18% of Missouri likely voters support, say, uh, transgender athletes being able to participate in sports with the gender they identify with. Even, and, when, you know, even when you take away the issues, mm -hmm. it seems like Missouri is a reliably red state mm -hmm. and a lot of voters are going to go for Josh Hawley just along party lines. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, Missouri is a very reliably red state. And so a Democrat has not won a statewide race in Missouri since 2018. And so then here, then the candidate who won that statewide race ran for governor two years later. That was Nicole Galloway. Exactly, yeah. exactly Nicole Galloway. And then she ran for governor, and then she got beaten by double digits two years later. By Governor Parson. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that Kuntz, though, I mean, he's you could say he, he's run a good campaign. He's uh, raised more than Josh Hawley. Does that translate to votes? And so, no, money will be very helpful, kind of raising uh, raising money, being able to get out message, turn out voters. Um, and so in the last three months, Kuntz has raised over $7 million, as Hawley's only raised about, say, $3 million. But right now, at least in terms of the last uh, reporting period, um, Hawley has more on hand right now. Um, and then in this, Hawley has been a statewide figure for much longer than Kuntz has been. Well, it'll be interesting to see how this debate pans out. It's mm -hmm. a few days before, and mm -hmm. some people have already voted absentee, mm -hmm. but they could change some minds mm -hmm. uh, between that Thursday and mm -hmm. Election Day. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I would add is it's obviously become very personal from we've seen them in person, and it's really become no. almost... No, whether at the Missouri State Fair or at, um, say, the, the, the forum that they had a few weeks ago. And so then, yeah, it's not, it has been a more contentious uh, campaign. This will be a controlled environment, though, so it'll be great. Yes, it'll be great. Everybody should tune in. Yes. So uh, abortion uh, amendment three, that's, as you noted, one of the key mm -hmm. issues separating these two. Mm -hmm. uh, Missouri was the first state to implement a near total ban on abortion. That could change with this ballot issue. Yes means you would overturn. Uh, the current ban and legalized abortion up until the point of veto, 
fetal viability. No vote is we want to keep uh, that near total ban mm -hmm. on abortion. What does your poll show? Because I think the mm -hmm. findings are kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here and again in our August poll, we found about 52% of Missouri likely voters uh, supported Amendment 3. And so in here, what we did is we showed them the exact ballot language regarding this. And then since our poll, other pollsters um, have also kind of looked at this issue, not using the exact ballot language, but kind of asking about the issue in general, and support has even been stronger, like sort of thing. So um, Emerson College found it to be 58 percent were supporting. In favor of doing away with the ban. Doing away with the ban. And so again, I want to say that's not our poll, but this is Emerson College, um, and they did not use the exact question wording. Um, but here, I've not seen a public poll that has like shown that Amendment 3, like since our own poll, that has shown Amendment 3 does not have a majority support. And then here, if we're kind of looking at the campaigns on these issues, there's a lot more money and support kind of coming behind Amendment 3. So over there's over $24 million kind of being behind Amendment 3 right Right now and there's considerably less on the opposition side and so at least right now on election day I'd be a little bit surprised if amendment 3 did not pass it's worth mentioning the national implications of this mm -hmm. are interesting if Missouri does if the voters say no to the current law no and so then here well actually I think the implications are going to be very interesting kind of like in the state as well because here the Missouri legislature is now have to decide kind of a little bit mm -hmm. like what are the restrictions kind of going to be state and yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, the other big one is amendment two mm -hmm. sports betting um, this would legalize sports gaming and we know Missouri is only a handful of states that doesn't have it and there's mm -hmm. been a huge show of support. We just saw this new ad with Ozzie Smith, mm -hmm. uh, vote in favor of sports betting. I, the critics say um, this campaign, that this measure would go toward education. Mm -hmm. um, critics are saying that's not necessarily the case. No, so here, yeah, so right now there's a lot of support or a lot of money kind of, be, kind of behind Amendment 2, um, and so Ozzy Smith and the St. Louis Cardinals are behind this as well. Um, but it's important to kind of for viewers to kind of understand is like where is this money potentially from sports gambling um, going to go? And so here I think there's kind of three kind of key questions kind of, kind of to be thinking about. Um, so one question is like what money is going to be collected? And so first there's going to be a 10% tax on, say, adjusted revenue kind of from the online sports betting and so that's going to be the money that comes in and then there's then the question of where's the money going to go and there's going to be three key places where the money's going to go the first place that the money is going to go is at first it's going to pay for kind of regulating online sports betting the second place that it's going to go is it's going to go to uh, basically a fund to kind of help basically prevent compulsive gambling and then the third place it's going to go and this is what we're seeing much more on the advertisements is to education However, one thing that's important kind of for viewers to understand is that, that this money going to education is not necessarily going to be new money to education. It, this money could just be money that's going to replace existing money going to education. And so unless you have lawmakers who are very pro-education, mm -hmm. uh, who's to say? Mm -hmm. what could happen. So th there's that concern. Exactly. And so then here it's going to be up to the Missouri legislature and the governor to make the decisions. Like there are going to have this influx of new money that's going to be like kind of earmarked for education, but then there's going to be existing money for education that they can basically take out. Well, Amendment 2 brought in all this money, so we don't need to, yeah. Exactly. Well, we shall see what happens with all of these mm -hmm. issues. It's hard to believe we're just days away. We've been talking about this, so. No, it's coming up um, very rapidly, yes. All right. Well, Stephen Rogers, I appreciate your insight, as always, director of the SLU YouGov poll. We'll be right back.